Did I ever think that we'd be canonized at MoMA? Of course. Of course I did. As an eight-year-old child, you know, I turned to my mother and I said, because she was taking me here, and I said, you know, Mom, I'm going to be in there one day. And I have a feeling it's going to be because I'm going to be in a band and we're going to make really crazy videos and they're going to be like, you got to be in. Um, I had no idea. We, you know, when we started, we were 14 teenagers and basically we were just thinking about what was going to happen by the end of the night. And so we never planned on any of this stuff, let alone being in MoMA, being, you know, traveling all over the world and all that stuff. So it's... It, Every day something crazy happens and, I'm, and I love it. You know, I, I actually would come here with my mom when I was a kid and to think that I'd be, you know, in a museum or uh, people would buy our records or any of that stuff is, uh, is totally weird and it still is 30 years later. So it's always kind of fucking awesome. We have a new record out available at Amazon.com, iTunes, different outlets and retailers. Uh, it's called Hot Sauce Committee Part 2, uh, basically because when we recorded our record, when we were recording, we had a ton of songs, and so we were like, well, you know, we got so many songs rather than a double album, because after Frampton Comes Alive, you know, why do a double album? And then, so, we are like, well, we'll put out a Part 1 and a Part 2, and we missed our deadline for Part 1. And so we had a deadline for Part 2, and then we are like, well, let's, you know, let's not miss that deadline. So, that's basically it. This new record seems a little, or feels, or it is a little more lighthearted just because when we recorded the last rap record we made uh, to the Five Boroughs, that was right after September 11th. And our studio is downtown, we all live downtown in Manhattan, and so just like, it wasn't really a fart joke type of day for the most part. We made a crazy video with a whole bunch of people in it, like, Spike's not the only one with cool friends, you know. You know, I, I got cool friends too, you know. Yauk basically asked most of the people to be in the video. And I think it was a thing because he had met Danny McBride and, and he, he was the first one to say, I'll do it. And I think as he did it, then like Seth Rogen wanted to do it. And then Mike is friends with John Riley. And then since John Riley did it, I bet Will Ferrell wanted to do it. But I was just, Chloe Savannah, just like all these crazy people in this video. And, and I don't know, just we're lucky enough that we can, you know, come up with ideas and, and, and see, see them through.